Owl Pack Firewatch and Tank Watch. Welcome to Valiant's Owl Pack Firewatch and Tank Watch course. This course is split into four modules. Firewatch, protecting people and property. Portable fire extinguishers, protecting people and property. Tank watch training and tank watch gas testing. After completing all four, you'll be well on your way to knowing how to safely go about your workday. So let's get started. Owl Pack Firewatch, protecting people and property. In this first course, we'll discuss fire watch safety and training. You'll learn the roles and responsibilities of fire watch personnel, the importance of monitoring a hot work area, the ins and outs of hot work permits, and finally, about sign-offs, operations, and health and safety. There are many different types of hot work. These include welding, heat treating, grinding, soldering, brazing, thawing pipe, cutting, Torches applied to equipment or roofing and similar applications producing or using a spark, flame, or heat. Similarly, there are different types of fire watch. For one welder, you'll need one fire watch and one permit. For multiple welders, you'll need one fire watch and multiple permits. If you use one permit and one fire watch for multiple welders, you'll need health and safety approval. Now that we've learned about the types of fire watch, let's talk about what a fire watch actually entails. Firewatch duties. The firewatch person will be equipped with a radio to contact dispatch and health and safety. During a shutdown, all radios are issued from the tank watch and firewatch trailers. During normal operations, the radios are issued by health and safety. When you're on firewatch, you'll have to wear PPE. The PPE required includes eye protection, a hard hat, hearing protection, the appropriate respirator, work gloves, a high visibility safety vest, CSA steel toe boots, and a long sleeved work shirt and trousers, as well as fall protection as required. You'll also need to wear a bite block respirator and locks. Though not considered PPE, the fire watch will be equipped with a tank watch or fire watch bag. The bag includes an air horn, flashlight, red flag tape, clipboard, pen, and tank watch log sheets. Once at the work site, you will need to determine where the nearest fire alarm pole station is located. These are usually near the exits. Then determine the location of the nearest fire hose station or wage axe from the hot work site. Finally, you'll need to be aware of the location of the nearest two exits, the location of the nearest phone, and the location of the nearest eyewash or emergency shower. As the fire watch, you need to know how many people are working on the job that you are watching, as well as the location of the hot work permit. Monitoring at all times. It's important that the fire watch monitor the area for the entire duration that hot work is being performed, even during worker breaks. Remember to report all fires. Report all fires to health and safety at 8200 or radio channel 1A, no matter how small, all fires must be reported immediately. Monitoring hot work areas is also crucial to a safe work environment. The fire watch will monitor all areas that are affected by the sparks from the hot work. If you cannot see all affected areas, notify your supervisor. The hot work permit will indicate the length of time continuous monitoring is required after the hot work is completed. There are four different scenarios. After hot work is complete, the four scenarios are as follows. Low risk areas, which involve one hour continuous monitoring. Main wood room building, which involves one hour continuous monitoring and three hours of periodic checks. Areas west of mill, which involves three hours continuous monitoring and three hours of periodic checks and final health and safety check. And special circumstances, which involves 24 hour continuous monitoring and three hours of periodic checks and final health and safety check. Confined spaces are also something to be aware of. For vessels with internal hot work, there should be no fire watch inside and tank watch can complete a continuous fire watch from an access point once all workers have left the vessel. Hot work permit. The hot work permit is issued to the contractor or all pack maintenance team member that will be performing the hot work. The permit must be filled out throughout the day. Remember to sign off if you leave for a break and ensure the new fire watch signs on. Finally, ensure the contractor signs off once they are done. One hour continuous. Don't forget to complete the one hour continuous fire watch section when the hot work is completed. 
3-Hour Continuous If you're doing 3-Hour Continuous Monitoring, complete the 3-Hour Continuous Firewatch section. Notify Dispatch when the 3-Hour Continuous Watch is complete. Note the time of the call on the permit. Dispatch will call operations and relay back to you the name of the operator they notified. Write the operator's name in the Special Instruction box. The permit must be left at the job site in plain view for follow-up by Operations and Health and Safety. Operations will do periodic checks for three hours after the three-hour continuous watch is completed. After the operations periodic checks are complete, Health and Safety will perform the final check of the area and sign off the permit as complete. 24-Hour Continuous If you're doing 24-hour continuous monitoring, complete the 24-hour continuous firewatch section. Notify dispatch when the 24-hour continuous watch is complete. Note the time of the call on the permit. Dispatch will call operations and relay back to you the name of the operator they notified. Write the operator's name in the special instruction box. Make sure the permit is left at the job site in plain view. Operations is required to do three hours of periodic checks after the continuous watch is completed. After the three hours of periodic checks are complete, Health and Safety will perform the final check of the area and sign off that the permit is complete. FAQs. Now that we've gone over the aspects of Firewatch safety, let's cover some frequently asked questions. How long is a hot work permit valid for? 24 hours if required. What if the work extends beyond one day? A new permit number must be issued each day. What if I run out of room in the Firewatch section during the hot work? A new copy of the same permit can be issued by operations. Note in the special instruction box that it is the second copy. Can I doodle on the HWP or any other shutdown documentation that I complete? No. And what do I do if a worker refuses to complete their part of the HWP? Call health and safety immediately. Let them manage these types of issues.